Case 60. Griggs v. Allegheny County. We find ourselves at the Supreme Court of the United States. Facts. Allegheny County owns and maintains the Greater Pittsburgh Airport at a site it acquired to provide airport facilities under the Federal Airport Act. In one approach zone, or path of glide, the pattern of flight established by the Civil Aeronautics Administrator for aircraft landing at and departing from the airport requires aircraft to fly regularly and frequently at very low altitudes over the petitioner's residential property. The resulting noise, vibrations, and danger force the petitioner and his family to move from their home. The airport was designed for public use in conformity with the rules and regulations of the Civil Aeronautics Administration within the scope of the National Airport Plan provided for in 49 U.S. Code 1101. The master plan for the airport provided an approach area, a runway that passed over Griggs's home, which was 3,250 feet from the end of that runway. The slope gradient of the approach area left a clearance of 11.36 feet between the bottom of the glide angle and Griggs's chimney. Regular and almost continuous daily flights, often several minutes apart, were made by several airlines directly over and very, very close to plaintiff's residence. During these flights, it was often impossible for people in the house to converse or to talk on the telephone. On takeoff, the noise of the planes was comparable to the noise of a riveting machine or steam hammer. On the letdown, the planes made a noise comparable to that of a noisy factory. Griggs and members of his household were frequently unable to sleep, even with earplugs and sleeping pills. They would frequently be awakened by the flight and the noise of the, of the planes. Their health was affected and impaired, and they sometimes were compelled to sleep elsewhere. The windows of their home would frequently rattle, and at times, plaster fell from the walls and ceilings. Moreover, the Griggs' house was so close to the runways, or path of glide, that the spokesman for the members of the Airlines Pilots Association admitted, If we had engine failure, we would have no course but to plow into your house. So what's the issue? Whether the county had taken an air or navigation easement over the petitioner's property. Holding. The court reversed and held that the county had taken an air or navigation easement over petitioner's property for which it must pay just compensation as required by the 14th Amendment. Reasoning. Let's first define an air or navigation easement. According to the FAA, a navigation easement is a conveyance of a specified property interest for a particular area that restricts the use by the owner of the surface and yet assures the owner of the easement the right and privilege of a specific use contained within the easement document. Where it is determined that fee title is not necessary, a navigation easement may be used to secure airspace for airport and runway approach protection and for noise compatibility programs. Such easement rights may consist of the right of flight of aircraft, the right to cause noise, dust, etc., the right to remove all objects protruding into the airspace, together with the right to prohibit future obstructions in the airspace, and the right of ingress-egress on the land to exercise the rights acquired. The easement may prohibit the construction of all above-ground objects. The easement may also contain any number of additional restrictions as the airport owner deems necessary.